Hi, I'm Lori from Yarn Debut, and I'm located at 495 Cedar Lane in Teaneck, New Jersey. Welcome to the 2020 Wool Walk. My hours for the Wool Walk will be Saturday through Saturday, 10 to 5. And on Sundays, I will be here from 11 to 4. My regular store hours are posted on my website at yarndevu.com. So these hours I just explained to you are for the wool walk only, October 3rd through October 11th. Upon entering the store, I ask that you wear a mask over your nose and mouth and use a hand sanitizer upon entering. At that point, you can enjoy touching the yarn and shopping. Keep in mind that all yarn and bags will be 20% off. In addition, the sale yarn that is currently 30% off will be included so you can enjoy 50% off on that particular yarn. This year, the Wool Walk is not using the passports. If you would like a list of the stores and their hours, you can go to www.njwoolwalk and go to the shops page and you can print out all of the stores and their hours so you can visit them at your leisure. This year we're also having, my store is having some giveaways and drawings. One of the drawings will be the nice beautiful leather bag from Philatora de Crosa. Another one will be some yarn from Malabrigo. And the third one will be this nice carrying case with yarn and pattern to make this sweater from Cascade Yarns. The final prize that all the stores will be partaking in will be the Wool Walk Blanket. That blanket was created, the squares were created by Cascade Yarns. They recommend using the 220 Merino Superwash. All of the squares represent pieces of New Jersey, I'll say. We even have a Jersey Tomato Square. We have the New Jersey Turnpike. We have the shore representative, the state oak tree, the state bird, and the state fish. You have a little bit of everything. You can collect these squares at all the various yarn stores. And at the end of the wool walk, we'll have one drawing where someone will win the blanket. These are some of the beautiful hand dyes that I carry. I carry Madeline Tosh in Vintage DK and the Fingering Weight. In Yoshi and Lucy, I have in DK and in Sport Weight and in Fingering Weight or Sock Weight yarn. The Malabrigo, I have the Caprino in beautiful Malabrigo colors. I have a little bit of the Wanderlust from the Handmaiden yarns. I have Earth Cashmere. This is a beautiful cashmere, hand dyed and very reasonably priced. Malabrigo takes up a good section of my wall because it's one of my favorite yarns. This is the Machita in a lot of different colors that can be added in. I also have the Malabrigo sock. And Yoshi and Lucy, I'll go back to them. I have coordinating colors of her hand dyed mohair. Beyond that, we have lots of Shibui, which is one of our favorites and best sellers. I'm wearing this beautiful shawl from Melanie Berg called Together Apart. Came out right during the pandemic, so it's an appropriate name. I've put together two skeins of fingering yarn in different colors from different vendors that are great. You need two skeins of fingering with one accent color. I used a unicorn tail. Little Wolf Yarns here put some of her own together with some great color combinations. You can switch them out, pick the colors you want. They're all available during the wool walk and they're 20% off. Let me show you this shawl. Okay. It's a 
good size shawl and beautiful. As you may know, I'm all about cotton. And this year, Cascade Yarns came out with the Paradine Light and the Paradine Shift. This is a sport weight to a light DK, the Paradine Light. I made this shawl out of it. One ball, great, only two ends to weave in. And the colors do all of their beautiful work by themselves. The heavier, more worsted weight yarn, one ball made this simple little shift for a young lady and comes in these beautiful colors. Please stop in, check them out. This pattern was focused on the cover of Vogue magazine a couple months ago as a shawl. We took it and reduced the size of it and made a beautiful scarf. We used approximately seven to 800 yards of a fingering or sport weight yarn mixed with a mohair. And it has been very popular in my shop this year. I've put together some samples of what you could do. Yoshi and Lucy has some beautiful yarns here and has some matching mohair. And we have kind of the magenta or the hot dark pink. We could even mix this a little bit with these to change the total look of the pattern. We have a blue, which is beautiful with a matching mohair. The original sample was made out of Zarina using Shibui Silk Cloud. And here's a beautiful blue Zarina that would um, make up much like what you're seeing in the sample. The Zarina in a purple is also available. Four skeins of that with two skeins of Shibui Silk Cloud makes for a beautiful neck warmer. Thank you. I'm Lori from Yarn Debut, and I want to show you the trunk show that has arrived from Wool Addicts. Now, even though Wool Addicts, in its name, has the word wool, they have a beautiful line of cotton. Cottons, three of them I have in the store. I have Liberty, which is a chunky weight, two and three quarter stitches to an inch. The Liberty has a slight nub to it, and it's a beautiful 100% cotton. Here is another sample of Liberty done up in one of their patterns. And one of my store samples here is knitted up using two skeins of yarn at one time to make a wonderful, even warm cotton cardigan. The other yarn they have is Sunshine. Sunshine is the yarn that I made my sweater out of with a fisherman rib. Also, here is a crochet top out of Sunshine. Again, 100% cotton. The third one is Happiness. Now, how could you go wrong with this? the name of this yarn? Happiness is a beautiful, another 100% wool, sorry, 100% cotton. It is a worsted weight, four and a half stitches to an inch. So again, great yarn for sweaters. Now we can go to the Wool Addicts Wool, and right now I only have samples of Fire, which is the bulky knit wool. Very warm, squishy, wonderful wool. This year, they have come out with a new wool, and it is called, let me see, it's new, it's called Glory. Glory comes in all of the same colors that you see here on the table, and even some more. This is a superwash wool, and it is a chunky, three and a half stitches to an inch. 
So it's another great option for a really super warm sweater for the colder months. Back to fire, I made this one great scarf out of three colors and it's a color block. Just knit up until you run out of yarn and add the next color. Add some great big pom-poms and you have a great scarf. The hat, very simple cable hat, tight fitting, really warm. So that's it for the Wool Addicts Trunk Show here at Yarndezvous. It will be here through October 12th. So stop in and check them out. Thank you.